The elements of the periodic table are divided mainly into metals and non-metals, with a few elements, the metalloids, having properties of both. We will leave the metalloids until another time. Metals are usually solid at room temperature, with mercury being the well-known exception as a liquid. They are lustrous, ductile, malleable, generally insoluble in water, and conduct electricity both as solids and liquids when molten. Metals have very loosely held outer or valence electrons. Within a metal, these electrons become delocalized and move freely between the positive ions. This so-called sea of electrons holds the metal together by electrostatic attraction. It also explains why metals conduct electricity. Non-metals are mainly gases and solids as elements, with only bromine being a liquid at room temperature. The solid non-metals tend to be dull, brittle, and easily powdered. Their solubility in water varies widely. They do not conduct electricity, with a few important exceptions based on structure, such as graphite. Non-metals hold their electrons tightly and form molecules, both as elements and in compounds, by sharing electrons in covalent bonds. They are strongly electronegative and will tend to attract electrons in chemical reactions. When metals react with non-metals, electrons are transferred. The metal atoms lose electrons and become positive ions called cations. The non-metal atoms gain those electrons and become negative ions called anions. These oppositely charged ions are held together by strong electrostatic attraction, forming giant ionic lattices with high melting and boiling points. Ionic substances are crystalline and brittle. Compounds formed from group 1 and group 2 metals tend to be colourless, while ionic compounds containing transition metals are often coloured. Many ionic compounds are soluble in water, and when molten or dissolved, their mobile ions allow them to conduct electricity. Metals and non-metals, not the most imaginative names, but they account for almost all the matter that makes up the world around us.